Welcome to Conversations on the Coast, the Bay Area's premier author interview program. And and the first thing that I'm going to do today is rip up my notes like this. And the reason I'm ripping up my notes is that they didn't send me an author or three. They sent me a functioning unit of three authors, and their names are Mac Barnett, Adam Rex, and John Seska. Hello. 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 Thank you very much. And that's the end of the program for today. No, these three guys are out appearing before kids and, and, and in bookstores. And the reason we have to abandon everything is that uh, I, I've never laughed so hard in my life. Uh, you guys seem to be at, at your best when you, when you go into schools. But unlike most authors, it appears that your prime reason for going into schools is to make kids laugh. Whoa. Is that true? I thought we were just trying to sell books. <laughs> that's what I thought. That's a really, that's a really sweet spin. Hardcover. Yeah, that is kind of a sweet save. <laughs> what kind, John? Hardcover. 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 I uh, know. You know. I think. I think that that we as as writers, um, specifically for us, and and just you know, we write for children. The audience is really important to us, um, and so there's nothing better than to see how our stuff is is playing with the kids we wrote it for. Uh, we really, and there was that funny kid today I loved who said, like, you guys are all funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Said, yes, we are the funny guys. That is what we do. Well, let's let people know what books we're talking about. We are talking, we're talking about a new book by John Seska, and it is called Robot Zot. Joining him on this tour is Mac Barnett, who comes from the Bay Area. That's right. Oakland. The author of Guess Again. And the Christmas sweater. Oh, no, that's Glenn Beck. That's Glenn <laughs> oh, Beck. Oh, I, th I didn't think that was you. Yeah. And also, he is the, the author of a book that will be in your bookstores this coming Tuesday. It is called The Brixton Brothers, The Case of the Case of Mistaken Identity. That's right. Yeah. Who the heck illustrated these books? Oh, well, The gentleman to his left. Are you kidding? Can you guys yes. see him? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> He's right over there. And his name is? Adam Rex. Hello. He illustrated Guess Again and the Brixton Brothers books. He's also illustrated a number of other books and written and illustrated his own book. For oh. those of you listening in your homes or cars, it's important to remember that Adam Rex is on my left. Yes. It would be very helpful. John Sheska would be on Max right. I'm also 11 feet tall. That wow. is very unusual. Built and yeah, built. That is. That is very unusual. The other thing, the, the problem that I have is that... Uh, there's a lie going on here. I get all this paraphernalia saying that there's, you know, four guys, four books, one tour. David Shannon is our missing man. He's the he's a writer and illustrator himself. He illustrated Robot Zot. Yep. Also, the the books No David, you might be familiar with. And he was uh, a worker on the Truck Town Design Garage. Yep. Right, right. Where is he, by the way? I, I don't know. Isn't <laughs> isn't he in your charge? <laughs> no, you're the guy who's supposed to be keeping track of everyone. I think we left him in Burbank. <laughs> is that a problem? Yeah, that's uh, no, not. It's not a big problem. No, because he is an illustrator. Yeah. Now, robot. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! What does that mean exactly, John? Adam's twisting my arm now. I want to talk a little bit about robot Zot. Yes. Now, this is a very unusual book in a, in a number of ways. In fact, everything you guys do is unusual. Uh, the, the, the jacket blurb for this book is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines long. That's a lucky number. There's, that's, that's absolutely by design that it's nine lines I long. Did, I didn't realize that. It's kind of like that. a feng shui It's, a, it's an old yeah. publishing thing. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and the copy says, Robot Zot, Wham Bot, Robot Zot, Crush Lot. Robot Zot will conquer Earth unless he finds true love. Wow. That yeah. pretty much describes it. <laughs> <laughs> you just blew the whole book, Jim. I no, was going to well, read it. But, there, uh. This is, this, uh, well, we have to hold the hold it up so people can see what Robot Zot looks like. Huge. Huge. He's, red. He's a really big red guy. Ready to conquer all. Right. And he's on his way down towards Earth. You know what the funny part is? 
What? He's only three inches tall. <gasps> wow. That's what's called a surprise. That's the magic of the illustrator. How did he do that? <laughs> slowly. Well, we'll show you, really radio slowly. audience. Yes. <laughs> it starts with a thumbnail sketch. Adam, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Can you hear that noise? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. It's the pencil. Yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, uh, when I'm laying out a book, and I, I didn't illustrate Robot, Robot Zot, uh, I, I admire it, but you know, just want to be clear about that. Uh, I start laying it out in thumbnail sketches, uh, um, so named, of course, because they are small and pretty much inscrutable to anybody totally. except the uh, the illustrator. The illustrator, yeah. Um, but you know, it's only after I've laid out the the entire book that I start moving on to to more uh, um, to, to larger and more detailed sketches. Adam Rex will let you return to that thought after we come back from these commercial messages. You're listening to Conversations on the Coast with Jim Foster. Follow us on Twitter at Jim Foster COC or send an email to Jim Foster COC at gmail.com. John Seska, Adam Rex, Mac Barnett. They are the three guests on Conversations on the Coast today. Mac Barnett is the author of Guess Again, and the Brixton Brothers, The Case of the Case of Mistaken Identity, the latter book not available until Tuesday. Adam Rex, illustrator of Guess Again, and the Brixton Brothers, The Case of the Case Against of Mistaken Identity. Notice that we cover those books <laughs> twice every yeah, time we introduce said case you. A whole lot of whereas, time, whereas John Seska, the author of <laughs> Robot Zot, only gets one introduction. Got it. Too bad. Now... <laughs> This book goes on and on, and, and the the robot does some wild and wonderful things in the kitchen of a house that he's visiting. He's fighting the entire Earth army. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, he's got to fight everybody. He just doesn't realize uh, they're not the Earth army. They're actually a blender and a coffee maker and yeah, a vacuum cleaner. But then his ultimate enemy is something else. The general of all Earth. Well, you might call him a dog. Oh, Zot thinks, Zot oh. thinks he's a general. So I've misinterpreted. <laughs> no, no. It's just Zot actually has a different take on the world. I He's kind of like if Don Quixote was a robot from another planet and three inches tall, that would be Zot. That so not, not Zot. really like Don Quixote at all then, is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's an important difference. No, you <laughs> sort of got me there. <laughs> but otherwise, he is, totally. Total. <laughs> well, now that he's embarrassed himself, let's talk about... Yeah, it's guess our turn again. to embarrass ourselves. Yeah, guess, guess again. again. Yeah, let's see what you got to say about that. The Guess Again is an absolutely wonderful book. Oh, thank you, Jim. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to uh, read the first poem, and then you gentlemen will answer as your audience usually answers. In unison. In unison. In unison. In unison. Creepy unison. He yeah. steals carrots from the neighbor's yard. His hair is soft. His teeth are hard. His floppy ears are long and funny. Can you guess who? That's right, my... Bunny. No, as our audience. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Thanks a lot. We have a whole audience. <laughs> now I'm going to do the last part again. Let's get it right. Okay? <laughs> Can you guess who? That's right. My bunny. Grandpa Ned. Thanks for joining uh, me on that, guys, by the way. <laughs> we were confused. Yeah, we I never really got the game plan we on this. <laughs> Are we the audience who's never seen the book? Are we the audience who has seen the book? Or are we the smart-ass kid in the front row who's peeking at the pictures? Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you go out and talk to kids. They're all very <laughs> smart, and oh, they right. say what exactly say. what we expect them to say, and they're always wrong. And fortunately, <laughs> wow. they don't become really? violent. That's quite a philosophy for children. <laughs> yeah. have, they it's it's, it's, always it's wrong. a little anti-child, but otherwise not that bad. Can, we, can you read another one? You want me to read another one? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try to get yeah, it right yeah. this time. Yeah, right. Can you? Can you, know you what? I don't think we probably even need to guess. I think we, Jim can probably just take it, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good You're idea. listening at home. Feel free to uh, shout at the radio. Shout at your radio. That's right. We'll Absolutely. leave a little blank piece where you can yell at your radio. Take okay. It, Who's on Captain Gluebeard's shoulder? Gold is gold. That feather's golder. Got a guess? Time to share it. It's Polly. She's the pirates. Mother. Wow. There it is. There it yeah. Is. And she's wearing a boa, for those of you who can't see it, a gold feather boa, just yeah. riding there on his shoulders. She's on his shoulder. As every mother should. As promised. That what? doesn't make much sense, though, Mac. What that's, is, <laughs> that's true, John. What's that all about? Uh, well, you know, I think uh, 
you know, I love guessing books. I love, I, I, I still love the books I always read as a kid, but I get frustrated when I see <laughs> uh, the same book being made over and over again. I think we have seen that guessing uh, book before. We've seen that guessing book a few times. So I decided to kind of turn expectations on their head and do a series of, uh, of rhyming poems that could apply equally to a rabbit and a grandpa. <laughs> and, uh, and that's the magic of the Adam Rex illustrations. Absolutely. Is it not? Because it looks like it's going to be the silhouette of a cat. Yeah, you just have to take our word for that. Or of a course, dragon. But, uh, yeah, it was or a, a bunny. It's a very challenging uh, book to illustrate because I wanted the illustrations to be uh, every bit as clever as the text. Um, I didn't didn't want to cheat or or uh, you know cut any corners on it. So, uh, but yeah. then the payoff is when you turn the page and there it is. Yeah. Speaking of cutting corners, who decided to cut the hole in the book? I think that was kind of there from the beginning, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Our editor at Simon and Schuster was always very big into the, trying to to fit as many uh, you know bells and whistles into this book as possible, flaps and gate folds and die cuts and all the those sorts of things. So I've heard it described as a comic romp. <laughs> was that your mother? <laughs> yes, it was. But, yes. Or maybe it wasn't that. His book, mom's a tough I, crowd, though. She is. She hardly describes anything as a romp. Mm-mm. Well, I think it really works. For kids, what age do you think? Oh, boy. Or, or does Simon and Schuster think? Well, well, I think, you know, I would say at about four, kids will start probably having enough guessing in their system to know what the joke is here. Got the uh, predictability. They got the rhyme. They're running up. They think they know. Yeah, absolutely. And, but uh, uh, the upper end, honestly. There's no that, upper end for There is no upper no, end for yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. We love it. We still like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I laugh. I've, I've been reading it a lot. And I still okay. Like it. <laughs> I wrote it. You, yeah, you <laughs> Mac know Barnett, Adam Rex, John Seska. They're in the studio, and they're going to stay for one more segment, so stay tuned. You're listening to Conversations on the Coast with Jim Foster. Follow us on Twitter at Jim Foster C-O-C. Or send an email to jimfostercoc at gmail.com. This is Conversations on the Coast, the most unusual program for us. We have in the studio three authors. Are you kidding? Uh, we don't usually have three authors. I like them. Right here in the studio. By name, uh, John Seska, the Hello. author, whose late, his latest book is called Robot Zot, illustrated by David Shannon, who could not be here today. Guess Again by Mac Barnett, illustrated Hi. by the redoubtable Adam Rex. Hello. And to his immediate left is Adam Rex, who is also the illustrator of the Brixton Brothers, the first book in what will probably be a series. It will be. It's called yeah. The Case of the Case of Mistaken Identity. And all of these books and all these talented gentlemen are brought to you by Simon and Schuster Children's Books Department. Wow. That's right. See that? Now, we have an exclusive here because the first Brixton Brothers book, The Case of the Case of Mistaken Identity, is not out yet, will not be available in your stores until Tuesday. Spoiler alert. Yep. And Adam, you illustrated this, but it's not the same as illustrating uh, a, a, a book like Guess Again. No, it's really not. Uh, I mean, I like to think that with uh, picture books, they're really sort of 50-50 uh, equal parts um, relationships where the book is, is really every bit as much the, the authors as the illustrators. But, you know, this one is, it's a Brixton Brothers, uh, number one, the case of the case of mistaken identity is, is a, a really fantastic text. And I was just lucky to have uh, contributed the cover and the uh, 12 or so illustrations that I that I put on the inside. Those are ninja librarians on the cover, are they not? That's right. There are ninja librarians rappelling down through a broken skylight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That's that's exactly what America needs. Yeah, more more ninja, ninja librarians. librarians rappelling Absolutely. Down librarians are the only thing keeping America held together, Jim. Yeah. Mac, tell yeah. us a little bit about the story. Uh, well, it's a story about Steve Brixton, who's uh, he's a kid who loves mystery stories. He um, reads books um, like The um, Hardy um, Boys. Um, um, um. Nancy bum, Drew, bum, 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 Encyclopedia bum, Brown. Bum, bum, uh, his favorite bum, are a bunch of kids called the Bailey Brothers. Bum, They're a teen sleuth bum, duo. Bum, bum, and uh, he's at the library bum, one day. He checks out a book, and uh, people start repelling through skylights. By checking out this book, he's implicated himself in an international mystery. Everybody's convinced that he's an actual kid detective. 
you better working not give for too a much criminal money. mastermind. The don't, only way to don't tell him anymore. X name. Right. X name. All right. Wow. No, yeah. he can go to that next part. I'll go to the next part. The okay. only way yeah. to prove that he's not a detective is to solve this mystery. Wow. Yeah. It's it's hysterical. And scary. Well, that's the other part. The it, the, the people who have who have read it, uh, such as Jeff Kinney, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Great guy. Action, adventure, humor. Mac Barnett has written a book kids will devour. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah, you can eat it. If I did tr- not yep. know that. I and, just read it. And, and, and Dave Egger says it's full of excitement and danger, of narrow escapes and unexpected twists, while also being one of the funniest books of its kind ever written. Very kind. There you are. Wow. Yeah. So nice. those are the three books. The Brixton Brothers, The Case of the Case of Mistaken Identity, a book called Guess, Guess Again. You'll see this easily in your store. It's got a hole. <laughs> I love that book. <laughs> and then there's the wonderful Robot Zot, who is not really as big as he seems. No. But, or are, are any of us really? Yeah. Well, you're not 11 feet tall? No. Okay. <laughs> Hey, he feels thank you it. very much, Adam, for admitting uh, to America that you're not 11 feet tall. That was a really big step for me. <laughs> he's, when, he's you fellas, uh, when you fellas go into a school, uh, what do you have in mind? I mean, most authors do not do what you do. Now, do you do it humorously because that's the most natural thing to you? Oh, absolutely, I think. Plus, we're telling them really like how we do our books. And there's, there is the information under there of like, Oh Where yeah. We start what we do. Yeah. Yeah, no there's lots of information but the kids are on the floor laughing. Oh, not, not just <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> yeah. There weren't that they many. Do. We, they were there in a lot of chairs. You can't really get 200 chairs in a, yeah. in a library. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I I uh I, I think I think we naturally we we make each other laugh uh, when we're just driving around. So Yeah, that's kind of a plus to have all of us just going back and forth. Yeah. Because yeah. I taught elementary school for 10 years, and you, you have to be kind of a stand-up comedian to survive. In the last school that we visited today, uh, what was the name of the animal you, 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 you had to draw? Oh, gosh. And it was uh, a hippopotamus horse frog. So it was yes. uh, hippofrogopotamus, I believe. Yeah. Three, three animals squashed in one. Death-defying feat by Adam Rex. Yeah, yeah. I, I've made it a habit uh, um, when I do these school visits, and normally I, I have to do them by myself. I can't lean on these guys as much as I have been for the last week. Um, you know, if uh, if my usual material is not going over, I can always just draw on a big pad of paper <laughs> in front of them, and that pretty much kills every time. <laughs> great guys, great authors, great books. The titles again, Robots On. And guess again. And the Brixton Brothers, the case, uh, the case of mistaken identity. They'll be all be in your stores real soon. And don't forget Robot Zot. This has been Conversations on the Coast, and I'm Jim Foster. Follow us on Twitter at Jim Foster Coc, or send an email to Jim Foster Coc at gmail.com.